Thank you so much, Machine. I'm actually impressed because five minutes is longer than you normally last, but we are ready for map number two, and it is going to have to be something special from Envious. Absolutely. Can't do any of the mistakes you saw there. I'm glad Yanko did point out a couple of those key mistakes you saw. Those are the things that are going to lose you this kind of any of those kind of mistakes, that's kind of basic level CS. If going up against the world's best teams, that's going to cost you the game before you even started at that stage. So let's hope they can step up on Inferno. I'm not feeling too confident from what I've seen so far. It doesn't seem like the key players really are coming to life so far. Kenny S had an okay game. There was a lot of club situations not going in their favor. It seemed like Happy came very close a couple of times, but ultimately Navi just completely obliterated him across the board in every discipline of the game. I just want to say your arms look great today. You've been working out lately, haven't you? I No, actually I haven't. I used to work out about two years ago. This, this is for residual. Oh, okay. left residual. Yeah. I see. What about I have you? a lot of residual on my gut. Let's just say that. But <laughs> I, I'm going to say, if you've been working out, I hope Envious has because they've got some heavy lifting. As you say, Inferno, very different map. We do talk about, uh, you know, momentum, utility, just being able to build up an economy on this CT side. It's Navi that starts there. So if Envious can get control early, again, they've won two for two pistols. If they yeah. can win it here, pick up a gun round in either round four or round five. There's a real chance for them, but... We'll see if that happens. We're ready. We're underway. It's going to be four sets of armor bought on either side. One utility player each. But no kits, despite that, because it's a smoke for C's, not a kit. The pistol rounds was all that really worked for Envious on Dust. So let's see if they can get themselves back into this. They are on the T side. They're going to be playing a very disciplined approach here. Just one player towards the middle. I assume that's happy, which it is. And he actually is going to spotted by Zeus straight away. as an exchange coming in, but it's Zeus that capitalizes. He gets the first round, draws first blood here on Inferno. Now they can fall back. The CTs have a huge advantage. Guardian adds to it as well. Lovely shot from him with the P2000. And he drops Kenny S. He's been instrumental in these pistol rounds for Envy, so that's a big scalp to take. Oh, flamey though. He's still continuing this, pushing this, down middle. And the, it actually, if he finds this kill on Apex... Okay, now Devil's actually going to turn. He was coming out from all middle. If he had gotten the kill fast enough on Apex and Edward had to come in to support, they could have easily cut off Envious, but that kill goes the other way. Devil turns around with the bomb, and MBK is going to lead the charge toward the pit. Guardian spots it, faces it, has to fall back away. Was trying to transition and get more aggressive, but now is forced to sit. And he's only on 21 HP. 2-2 two -two split for the defense as well, so... With three players up, it can actually favor on the take. Well, the fact is, Navi have very low HP as well, and we still have a smoke on Envious. 35 seconds player, but we will be committing towards the B site. It's an aggressive angle with Cs. I actually really like this. They've dropped the smoke at a perfect time. He's got the CZ. Great opportunity for the spray down here. And they're gonna try and go through this smoke, but Cs yep, and Zeus, they just absolutely shut them down. That was kind of sick, actually, from Navi. That, that, that smoke dropped the last second. That was just so perfect. Envious couldn't wait around to actually wait for the smoke to actually dissipate. They had to push through. And as I said, that's CZ position. That's just got tear from CZ. He gets it. And it's very simple frags for him. And he dropped one kill there. It's Navi going aggressive on the pistol. And they go up 1-0 here. It's going to be a force buy from Envious. If you don't get the bomb down, it's pretty standard to go into the Tech Nines, PD-50s. They have got a smoke and a couple of flashbangs. We will soon be trying to find this first pick, slowing things down. But it's four rifles for Navi, one MP7 on Seized. Actually, the UMP on Edward as well, so three rifles there. Navi getting that pistol. This is what we talked about, getting that start to try and shut them down early. Envy with a large task now. If you're forcing themselves back over toward the A site based on that single smoke, they have to give up a little bit of that stance they had inside of it. And MBK is going to sit behind the logs and wait for it anyway, but Flaming going to go more passive. No early rotation off of this, though. They know the guns favor them. There's no need to overreact and give up the B site and have to play a retake because B, if correctly smoked off, planted, and good post-plant positions can be extremely hard regardless of the weaponry you have. And still, there's no kits out on the CT side, so they have to be a little bit careful. I was looking like a B targeted approach here from Envious. I've got that smoke, as I said. They'll be dropping this as soon as they get spotted. It's like a contact play at this point. As soon as they get in, they can get some leeway, see if they can find this first frag. Guardian's rotating as well, but no smoke out up towards CT. Gives Guardian that chance to take down Kenny. It's Flamey inside of the site, and there it is. Perfect timing from Guardian down Speedway. Flamey stabs Happy in the back. As he's busy, he's turned that direction, and no bomb plant for Envious in either of these rounds does become an issue because now they've got to save one more, and Envious get almost the perfect start. You mean Navi get the perfect stuff. Sorry, Sorry, that's what I mean. These two teams just, just to make to sure. Envy, Navi, it's all the same, right? Yeah, exactly. But Envy is now, yeah, fully eco at this point. They've just got one PT-50 on Happy. And we'll see whether he can deliver some magic with this weapon. It should be a complete throwaway round. 3-0, almost guaranteed in favor of Navi here. They're going to be pushing down towards Banana. Actually, Guardian picking up the first frag, taking out Kenny S and Zeus. Fancies a bit of the action here. They're just completely relentless. Three frags, make it four. Happy does manage to get something for that P250. That was just to pay off the debt after purchasing it, but that's about it. One frag found, and now they go 3-0. They have two Famuses now. 
And the AWP, of course, comes out towards Guardian. This is looking very strong for them. No orb for the terrorist side, but that's not a problem. We actually saw Kenny S have some superb AK work on Inferno. Guardian's looking at B as well. Ooh, okay. So they're expecting this early contact play. Three players going to go toward Banana. He'll get the quick peek in, and if anyone's facing, count on Guardian to give them an early man advantage for Navi. Self-flash over. Molotov up, though. Kenny not there to face. Late smoke in. We'll see if they go for the boost above this. Again, no AWP on Envious' side, so Kenny not exactly in a position where he can try and spot the yellow car. But now that this AWP is here, if Guardian doesn't want to be dynamic and rotate it back, if he gets impatient, then they will send the other rifle over. That's exactly what they're going to do. So Seize will now go back over and strengthen the A-hold. Absolutely. Envious yet to show their hand. They have still got four smokes remaining, but you'd assume they'll be just trying to bait out the CT utility at this point, try and throw their hand towards the apartments. Once they get control of the apartments, they can start facing middle and see if they can get that first frag. They just have no idea where Guardian is right now. He is towards B, but he had to take a shot. They'll be wondering where that guy lies. Did emphasize the D that time to Henry, don't worry. Guardian. Still going to be here, though, and they are getting closer and closer to this position. No one facing down mid from Navi. Won't have the read that they're this close, but again, the utility is deployed, and Guardian's going to try and bait them in. But now with that smoke out, Guardian's separate and flamey. It's not going to work. He's just a sitting duck. They catch Guardian through the smoke. Now they've got an entry. Late smoke out on CT. C's just getting there, but he's going to try and spray through it regardless. Bomb's going to go down default. Actually, I take that back. Devil. Save the guns, boys. All right. It's gone wrong. Yeah, that's MBK. We talked about this yesterday, actually. It's actually he's sensational at working the banana area, getting those entry frags, and he gets both. He gets Sam Flamey, who's hiding towards that sandbag area. The idea of that play was Guardian drops the smoke on the corner, and looking like he's playing in front of it. It's almost trying to sell Flamey into that position. He's saying, well, there's no, can't possibly anyone here. Why would I be running back for the smoke and leaving him for dead? Flamey trying to live up to that role and kind of fully commits, hiding into the corner. Doesn't want to give anything away. MBK checks it, takes him down, gets the spray onto Guardian as well. That opens up the map. And Navi, take the sensible choice here. They don't want to give their rifles away for free. It's almost an impossible retake at that stage. Inferno is one of those maps. When the bomb's down, with players alive as well, it's very difficult to actually get back into there and have their utility to find kills and get a defuse going as well. So, good God, that gets me every time. <laughs> Got me that time too. Right? <laughs> it's all Robin's fault. <laughs> We're on edge, Robin. Thanks. Wow. Okay, just remember, when the bomb's about to blow up, you need to hold my hand. <laughs> And we'll get through this together. You just want me to hold your oh, hand, Oh, there's signs. Henry. There's signs for us. Static. Ah, uh, Kappa Pride. That's that's not wrong. Okay. Kappa Pride's in the chat. Let's get that going. I think we said. Didn't we set a Kappa Pride record at MLG or yeah. uh, PGL? I think we did. Yeah. Most but, amount of Kappa Pride for the entire one. weekend. Yeah. Just continuous spam. Number one emoji. Face off again. Three players inside. Banana. No AWP there this time. though. Guardian's got it on the A site. And he's going to be playing the off angle, not toward Arch. So no quick rotation potential because they've got three there in B already. They want to strengthen out this pit side of the map. Hold truck, make sure that if they do rotate around, if they want to even wrap through CT, Zeus is going to be ready for it. And he's already heading back in that direction now. But three players from Envious, they're just going to wait here and try and take over apartments. Yeah, it'll be the same thing again. They'll water for the default, see if they can work out where Guardian is. That's the first port of call for their terrorist side. MBK, you would assume, will then try to get control of Banana. As I said, very strong in that position. He could be smoked out for now. But he just knows that buys him some time here. The CT is using their smoke at the beginning of the round. Means he can just wait at the bottom and then do his thing in about 10 seconds' time. Edward faces down the hallway. Doesn't spot anyone just yet. We'll see if that's a misleading read because, again, they are still trying to put pressure on this position. He just doesn't see it right away. And Edward's actually sitting in the open right now. Has to be a little bit careful because Guardian gets flashed off in front of him. Had to get toward Pit quickly and thankfully no fast peaks from Envious, but Devil does get Zeus. Gives them an opening. NBK slowly giving up this banana position, but they need to find one more pick unless they're going to go back, and that's exactly what they're going to do. 33 seconds, they're not 100% sure where Flamey's gone. And Guardian rotating over means that they just have to face Seized inside B if they go through this smoke. Happy on the flank as well. Pretty standard stuff. Seized has to step up out. I'd say he needs two frags to give him a chance. If he drops about a single kill, that's the round over. Edward's smart, though. He's going slow. He won't give up his based on noise, but there's the lineup. Orange is one. Three kills from Seize. He's alone, and he does all the work. All he had to do was slow things down, and he does far better than that. Happy's got to run for the hills. Five seconds left. And I was about to say, Edward was smart. He knew Happy would be lurking. He was already trying to find him. What a tournament this has been from Seize so far. Another massive round from him just when Navi needed it. He was alone on the B side and gets three kills and stays alive as well. Completely denies in the round. Happy does save his weapon. It's becoming a common trend here on Inferno that... 
he is going to be towards middle or towards the apartment, while the rest of his team are actually struggling on the other side of the map. It seems like if he was with them, potentially could have been refrags there. I think most teams are going to have to read on Happy every single time when he's going into these rounds. I can't say I'm a big fan of it. I think it's, it's viable every now and then, but not every single round. There it is. It's going to be 4-1 now. MVS do have enough to buy here after saving so many weapons on the round they won. And we go to number six. Guardian looking towards Ooh. middle. What a shot on the Kenny. Takes him down. He was in the underpass, gets his head blown off. And that's the man advantage gifted towards Navi now. Big pick for him to grab. It was only the AK again for Kenny, so we haven't seen the AWP battle come out just yet, but MBK gonna find the first kill. Forces two players back toward the pit. There's three inside the A site still. And Seized has to be careful again with this face because MBK, he was winning most of the picks here yesterday against Dignitas as well. And yeah. forces Zeus back. So, I mean, just, just getting that single kill on Banana, he's thinned out the defense so much. So good at getting these opening frags. If he gets to kill on the Seas, it really could be interesting. But he's going to be checking his close right position. Seas gets one and a double as well. Looking to pick up the third, but it's going to be Zeus to find the final frag there. Once again, Seas is making them look a little bit silly as he faces from the close corner and gets a double spray down. 5-1 in favor of Navi now. It's going to force him onto an eco as well. Fantastic stuff from him once again. Strong arms on the B-bomb side. Playing it smart, sees passive aggressive. And there's an interesting statistic right there. We talked about those two exact players, Apex and Kenny. How they've been kind of leading the charge and getting most of the opening frags, getting most of the kills for this team, making things possible. They both sit with zero kills six rounds into this game. Yep. And now it's going to be pretty much full eco as well. Happy has got head armor and a couple of flashes. I assume he had a little bit more money than the other guys, so he's kind of balancing the books in that sense. He has flashbangs. There has been heavy grenade damage taken towards MDK. He's got the PT-50 banana, goes down to 14 HP. Looks like the rest of his teammates now will be joining him. It's going to be smoked out for now, so... The real option they have is trying to walk through that smoke, do some pop flashes and hope... and pray that something works out for them here. MBK swaps over his PT-50 towards Kenny. Obviously with the low HP, probably want to have your stronger players on towards the upgraded weapons here. Edward's going to stare down toward the apartments as well on top of the statue, jumps to graveyard. Clever mechanics, but he has to rotate over fast again. No, seized. He just has to play this correct. He finally goes down. Pistol's overwhelmed. That crossfire set. Flamey got two. I'm not going to rush it. Guardian denies the bomb plant, though. That's huge. Because Envious on pistols with a lost round bonus that just hits three rounds. Yeah, had they got that bomb down, they had a very healthy buy. And would have got an AWP. Would have been an option, you're absolutely right. But now it's going to be AKs, and this is very similar to what we saw in Dust 2. Never really got a strong economy. Always on the AKs and smoke and flashes. Never had the Molotovs, which can be so key on Inferno. Some guys sacrificing their smoke so they will get the, those two mollies. It's so vital for the execution. You seem to be flushing out the CTs wherever you go to both bomb sites. Obviously, Molotoving the new boxes or maybe oranges as well. Devil's going to be going down to just the Tech 9 here. So into round number 8. Heavy aggression coming in from the CTs here. Going with that first frag. It's MBK to step up though. He gets one in return. Flamey trying to get the second. Does actually manage to dink Kenny S now. So they've got the advantage and going to be holding strong towards Banana as well. Guardian's actually making his way towards the apartment. So he's changing up his position every round. Trying to make sure he's surprising them. Keeping dynamic. Maybe it's now up against the ropes. Apex is to be pushing with the smoke. This is another questionable play from him. Does manage to capitalize though somehow after getting dinked. Finds a kill on towards Zeus. Yeah, but that's the issue now is there's so much HP blood away from Envious. So still the strength in numbers, but call it what you will. Flamey late to the position. It's Sandbags nearly misses the first shot. Gets taken down and trade by Apex. Smoke goes out. Edwards here. Nade through. Catches the inside of the Sandbags. That would have been it. Could have been a double kill there. Yeah, that would have been massive because Kenny and Apex, Apex for sure was close enough, but... Wrong side of the sandbags it lands on, and now they're going to try and face off with Guardian. One versus three as they approach, likes it up. All three players on red. But can they find them fast enough? That's the harder part here. And Edward might get pushed through this smoke. Happy looks perfectly, finds him, and it's just left to Guardian. One versus two. He has the first already, but ring around the rosy, and Happy pops out late. Nice work there from Envious. It was Apex, as I said. Making that huge gamble to push through the smoke by himself does give them the man advantage in terms of the frag. But everyone was such low HP. They had to make sure they were playing that situation perfectly. Guardian left them to two on one. Nozo were low. Gets the pistol out. Just needed to land one shot. But it wasn't meant to be. Great pincer from Envious to get them back into this. And now they do have the AKs. And so we're going to round number nine. Guardian back on the orb. We'll see where he's going to be heading towards. Back towards mid. Another single sniper purchased for Envious so far. Just relying on that Kenny S. AK, and as I said, it has proven to be very strong this event as well. It doesn't have to be on the AK, uh, the AWP, sorry.
Guardian again gonna hold from the arch side. Kenny sitting at bench as well, just making sure no one's gonna peek out from Boiler, get a face down middle. But Navier staying pretty disciplined, pretty passive so far. Zeus inside of the A site means that Edward stays passive as well toward Pity. Does just face off quickly toward the apartment hallway, see if he can get any information, but Envious is rotating back over toward Banana once more. And MBK this time, they've been a lot more disciplined again, Navi on that side of the map as well, because he hasn't found that opening pick. In fact, not even spotting anyone yet. Well then, Happy now looking for that first pick, but once again, he's lurking towards middle of the B attack coming in. Sees has actually left the side, left to Flamey this time. They do give away their position in terms of firing through the smoke, so he will peel his well back there, but it's to be difficult now. Envious smoked out once again. You assume they have to go for a full execute here, but they only have two smokes remaining. And that Molotov that sees just red is actually a, a complete counterplay to exactly what Navi, or excuse me, Envious do, because they love to push through the smoke exactly this. But now he goes in, and he tried to let the flame, so when they walked in, they would take damage on the way through, but it's only two kills for him. Flame, he's gonna follow it up. That drops the bomb as well, and now despite that Apex has gone towards CT, Zeus finds him, and with bomb down happy. There's smokes everywhere to try and conceal him. He's got a large task, does find the first, but there's the response, Need through. Have a very decent hold there from Navid. Seized once again, finding perfect position, pushing through that CT smoke with a flashbang. Takes down two, and that's enough. Sets up Flamey for another alley oop in towards CT spawn. Gets the bomb down, and here's the play on the screen right now. Look how flash they are. It's so perfect. He's been playing such a stellar tournament. Very impressive with him on that B side as well. Envious now, after winning one round, they are fully reset. So only $1,400 coming into round number 10. So they're going to be on the pistols, Tech 9s, p 50s and Glocks. So not really many options there, I have to say. MBK has got some body armor. That's pretty much all I can tell you in terms of something to work with here. He's got the Deagle as well, and that's why gets that kill onto Flamey. Now there's an opportunity. Watch. The push from Apex. Okay. Zeus <laughs> catches him off. There it is. Just give you kill away yeah, again. Exactly. There. I was going to say, off. there's the man and finish gone. Late smoke out. MBK tries to find the shot through it. It's a little bit closer on that third attempt. As the spot seized up, getting toward the sandbags. No, so he's going to wait out in the open and does catch him off. Aggressive push, and now they just have to come up with something, Envy. They get aggressive. Kenny does find one, grabs an M4 for his troubles, but bomb down over toward the A site, and they know exactly where he is. They're all going to go hunting. Edward and Guardian set for the crossfire at the bottom of Banana. Smoke out as well. Kenny's going to be pretty limited on how he can approach this. And Zeus just slowly walking up through Speedway. He's going to get the information now, but it doesn't matter. Edward takes him 8-2. to two. Indeed. Another massive lead. And now Envious needs to decide, do they let their, their money actually stabilize and get to the point where they can actually have the option to get the AWPs, not force into this. I think they had about $3,600 average, and it looks like they will be doing that. Just going to have the more conservative approach here. Take another eco as a partial buy. So Tech Nines, Head Armor, Utility, that would normally suggest you go for a full execute. Most teams will favor towards the B side, trying to get the bomb down. We know a lot of these teams do have those executions just to plant within the smoke and just try and force the situation to the point where it makes the CDs feel a little bit uncomfortable on the retake here. The Guardian now pushing up in the apartments, looking for that first frag. Gonna be denied it for now, as Envy's not really trying to take over that area this time. Gonna be focusing towards B. MBK's at the top once again. Gonna be smoked out for now. They still have four smokes in the Molotov here, so as I said, does suggest a B-sided attack. Which could work in their favor. You can see there are four CTs towards the A-side. We've said that before, and C's yes. came up massive, so I'm not going to call anything done just yet. But yeah, you're right. I mean, with Zeus this far away, fully committed to the rotation this time, they're trying to play the bait-and-switch with Flamey toward Cubby, but they haven't got any read on this, any information at all, so they have to consider this rotation, and thankfully, the thought crosses their mind. Late smokes out, sees completely guarded off toward that spool position, tries to get above it to see if they're going to enter in, but they're just going to slow this down, Envious. They want to see if they can bait out a response. And now they'll go. Smoke still on CT. Who's just getting there now, but it's seized again. One already, bomb drop, good response. Apex finds it with the Tech-9. And Zeus has to rotate back through construction this time because the smoke was deployed again towards CT, so they double that up. Bomb's going to go down for Envy. That's what they needed, an equal exchange on towards Seize. Now 4 on 4 and they picked up a rifle as well, so this is possible for Envious. Have got crossfires towards construction. A reasonable position for Apex early on too, because he knows the first rotation was going to be forced out toward construction, but he catches himself in the open again, over commits to it, and Flamey gets it with no teammate responding until just now. It's Kenny that will. He sits at water, and Kenny, he's out of ammo. There's no chance for him. He had to switch to the knife. There was nothing he could do. So what seemed like a promising entrance to the bomb site falls around them. As they do get a plan down here, that does boost the economy going to the next, but it was a decent attempt from MBS. You can see the mentality behind that one. Doing their smoke execution, a couple of flashbangs over, waiting 
for that moment then for the C's response to come in. See, there wasn't too much fun, so they kind of took their gamble towards the side of that point, got the equal exchange as well, bomb planted, could have made something of that, but unfortunately just didn't have the firepower to challenge Navi as it came into the full retake. So a pause coming in. I think this is technical because we're looking at the run pause and straight away. So it's all fine. Just a small issue as we get into round number 12. 9 2 in favor of Navi, looking very strong, continuing the form from Dust 2 here. Did win the pistol this time. It's only been a couple of gun rounds for Envy and getting reset straight after as well. So unable to build up that momentum on the T side and actually control the CT economy. They just haven't been able to break it. And now, testament to that, Seize has got an AWP as well. He'll be taking that towards B. And we're going to get Flamey near that cubby position again. He considers it early, but there's no one to play off of this time. So Edward has to stay with this forward stance of Boiler to make this possible, otherwise he's going to have to shuffle back Flamey. They will try and do so. Guardian AWP faces down alt middle. Not the aggressive position, but he does check the bridge, cross it over. And as the smoke slowly is going to fade away on that apartment position, they're going to throw a nade through to see if Happy's close up. Takes him down 11 HP, but ultimately inconsequential because he still tries to get that stance inside of apartments. And if he can grab this from Edward, if he can find him in the hallway and get this first kill, they'll have a great chance to try and execute. Just a note there, Seize just did a nade from the back left of the, the B-bomb sign. This has to be wrecked MBK, but Edward coming in, taking out Happy. That's the man advantage wants to get in apartments. Nearly lined up two on that as well. And Guardian's going to take an alternate angle to try and cover off that doorway so Edward can face through the truck. Harder angle to get shot from when they approach from Do Boiler. And that's going to be the approach because, oh, well, Guardian actually changes his angle, gets caught in the open entirely. This is because they smoked off Flamey. Zeus has rotated over to the front library. Apex taking a lot of these 50 50 one man duels. If he did die there, it's a round over. This time he does manage to catch out Guardian, but a decent flashbang comes in. Flamey gets one. Devil replies, though. So equal yeah. exchange this is what they should be doing. Can't reset his aim fast enough. Yeah, and this down starts to favor. He's going to go for a late flank on this. Apex just stopped watching it as well, so this could actually work out extremely good for Seized. Problem is he has the AWP. The closer he gets, the harder it's going to be. They are checking down middle now. He's got to get the angle right. Low HP switches out and has to run back. They spot him, but they don't get the shot in. So they have the information now that he's trying to flake, but it distracts them long enough, and Zeus and Edward just walk up and capitalize. You're so right. The fact that Seized didn't even know he got spotted at that point. He just fell back, and there was so there's this like tunnel vision at that point. Like, Do we see a guy then? Should we, get, should we go get him? And then Zeus is coming around the corner. You know what, guys? I'm just going to completely spray you down here. I just saw a bison purchased. Is this real life? Shout out to James Bardoff. He's going to love that. There it is. Kenny S is going in. The worst weapon have in the seen, game, I would have say. Have you seen the flow chart? When should you buy the bison? When should you then? It just literally all leads to no. Oh, like, really? No matter what the scenario, <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna does say, the enemy have armor? If like, someone suggests like, yeah. that that's a viable weapon in any scenario, that's interesting. I think it must be a misfire. That's, I'm not really sure why you bring that to any occasion. But it's got 60 bullets. Yes, they do about one damage Do you damage remember, do you remember the original, before Day of Defeat, they had the game Firearms no. on the original, like, Half-Life engine? No. In that game, the Bison was sick. Okay. Well, because I played that game, I've always had this soft affection for it, but you're right, it is dog shit in this game, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Well, Kenny has now gone down to 64 HP. That is the one towards the banana area as well. We'll see what he can do with this. Smoking towards CT spawn. You would think he's the one with a quote unquote weapon. He'd be going in first. Flashbangs come over and here comes the play. Seize does get blinded up, so they cross over before the AWP can come into effect. Flamey spots them running through. But what's the call? Rotation through construction or back through CT? Zeus will easily get in a position now where he can find that out for them. And Seize does there get one is. up close, but Kenny walks in, has the AWP, but can't face fast enough against Flamey. Gets one with the Bison. We need a Bison R8 combo. That's what I want now. That would be a sick combo, to be fair. That's something I'm interested in. That's like a gin and tonic on the rocks right there. That is the perfect <laughs> combo. 11 2 now. This is not going perfectly for Envious. This is getting worse, if anything. At least they had three rounds to play with on Dust 2. This is looking pretty one sided, you have to say. 11 now for Navi. Bider's coming for Envious. Five AKs. They have got a decent utility, but it's a three man stack towards the B side from Navi. They'll be pushing down aggressively, nading down, trying to find some early damage here. You can see that. Envious is cowering towards the T-Steps, don't want to face this whatsoever, just want to wait till the smoke to dissipate before MBK shows his hand towards the site. Boost coming towards Quad as well, setting themselves up. This is a change of pace now for Navi, you haven't done this yet, so... Flamey baited in towards those logs area, you can see Seize just wants to show as much as he can, just so they don't check that area. This could work out very nicely for him. Apex. Already inside Boiler, clearing it out. But a face down from Guardian. The second his shoulder shows, Guardian tears it out. 
He's going to go back in for more as well, but Happy holds the angle. Headshot from the AK. Good crosshair placement, and now they actually can burrow into these apartments and try and utilize it correctly. Double stance down the bottom of Banana. No early rotation on this, but it does limit Envious's map control and movements. They pretty much get forced over to the A site, and MBK, he's going to try and go evaluate back on the other side. But Flamey's pushed up into this tree, so they're going to try and bait them in. It works out. Bomb down. Perfect. Now they've got the information. A late Molotov's going to keep them out even further, and Flamey doubles that with the smoke. So perfect. He's just... Going all in at that stage, wanted to get as much attention as he could. Edward gets happy. This round's over. Watch Devil, though. Watch Devil. 30 seconds, and he's got the CT. Zeus has no idea. He's got an inkling. He's starting to go look. But right now, if MBK can buy space, Devil's going to be perfect to flank. This should be an easy double for him. Surely. Keep the trigger discipline. One shot. Now, second shot. Followed up. There gets pulled back, but he's got to turn around and take down Zeus. Because the problem is he's completely surrounded still, and he has 14 seconds. He's going to try to go to eight. Edward confronts, takes him down. It was quite pretty and quite well played from Devil, as you said, just had no time to play with that. Gets a couple of kills, which are redundant at this stage. You can see now they have 16k on Edward. They can just go all in here. It's 12-2. This is turning out to be quite a disappointing semi-final. Envious haven't showed up whatsoever so far. As we go into the final round of the first half, once again, five rifles. One of those is Gilil on MDK. One of the players has actually been finding frags. He's going to be... Well, less effective about the AK. We'll see what he can do. Double orb once again. Guardian and Zeus running it this time. Sees the loan towards Banana for now, and he seems like he's having a lights out game. Oh. Guardian opens up again. Devil drops. Guardian loves that peek down toward alt mid, too. If he gets the good enough spawn, count on him taking that. They play it so that Flamey's behind him. If they come out from the stairs or toward the bench position and he gets caught, the, the rifle's there to at least get a one for one. Apex back toward apartment last time. Taken by Guardian. Knows he's not here this time based on that early peek. And he's going to use this smoke to try and push Edward back and get control. Maybe, possibly, finally get an entry at this position as well. Five and four. Envious need to find something out of this. He's just so confident. Listening out for footsteps at the top of E. MBK is waiting for him. Getting smoked out once again. You see the frustration. He wants to be fine. <laughs> Rattling off shots with this smoke. Giving his position away, ultimately. CTs are going to be adjusting themselves. Two players towards Ark. That's perfect, considering the bomb is coming out towards middle. Lovely stuff from Guardian. So audacious. Finds the next kill. Now it's up to Apex. He gets dropped as well by Edwards. Simple round once again for Navi. What can you even say about this one? Yeah. MBK, last player remaining. 13-2 is surely where this goes. MBK the last alive. Kenny finishes the half. Three kills. Apex, not much better on five. But to be fair, no one in the double digits from Envious as they get crushed. Navi, three rounds away from going into another final. They were just trying the same thing pretty much every single round. We didn't see anything in terms of a set execution or gaining the map control. It's just like, okay, guys, wait up for 45 seconds. Hide on the C-steps. Wait for them to... Uh, push us and then we'll kind of go for a lark and a four-man push well everyone's favorite long-haired girl is on the floor just kidding i love you paula but please fill us in <laughs> thank you very much matt the crowds are loving this match but i do think that everybody thought it was going to be a bit of a closer map and i think that people do want to see a comeback maybe does anyone want to see, see a third map Sounds oh. like uh, a few people do, but you know what I really think they're waiting for? Go on. Does anyone want to see the Swedish semi-final? That is more convincing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. far, I don't think this game's really got the crowd going just yet. We were hoping the semi-final would deliver. But uh, Envious, I have to say, are letting us down here. We go into the second half, Matt. It's 13-2, a must-win pistol for Envious. It's Kenny has stepped up so far, but he's actually on three for 13. He needs to get that. He needs that four-man kill ratio we saw on Dust2. Can he do it again? That's what we want. Some magic. Get them back into this. Get the 3-0 and then there's a chance, Matt. Then there's a chance. <laughs> You're being the optimist this time. Edward faces oh, first. God. Has the that? shot though. Apex. Apex all by himself. How many times did he do that? Just by himself. Hmm, well, hopefully I can step up. Go give him a slap after this game, Henry. I know you want to, I know you want to talk to him. This looks like he's just mentally out of this one, but... Kenny's limited as well. So Graveyard's an excellent position if you can get the jump. Okay, there we go. Devil bails him, because now he finds this kill, but it's so hard to maneuver out of this position. Eventually, he was always going to be dead in that spot, and Devil has the pit, the most <laughs> important position. Now, the good news is the bomb is down toward Moto, so they still have control of this Envy. Yes. But with Pit given up, they can start to control the peaks a little bit more carefully. Have to find a way forward, though. NBK going to be facing off through the gap, but not giving up too much, not over committing to a two-man peak. And he gets the information at least for Happy with that second shoulder bait that they are getting closer. That smoke off, but good pickup for Happy because Bomb, that was their chance to grab it. And now it's Tech 9 versus 2. Smoke goes away. Tech 9 actually starting to win this battle. Takes Happy extremely low. 
They're on either side of him. Has to have extremely good reaction this. Where's the late face? NBK just stays alive, but there's no repeek out from Happy. This is going to give up a bomb. And it's one bullet either way. Happy trying to hold. Not give Flamey a chance to move. Quick little shoulder peek. Happy wants the long tap. No kit in his hands. It's got to be quick, but Flamey's got it. Just when it felt like there was a chance. Four kills for Flamey. He steps up, and it's so well played from him as well. As you said, he almost won that run single-handedly in the two-on-one just by doing so much damage with that tech nine. Gets the one planted. Happy had to hit a one shot from hell, but wasn't meant to be. You can see this replay now. Once that kill was made on the site, Happy just had nothing to work with. He didn't have the kit. He needed to find the headshot. It's Flamey to take him down in a pistol. They could have brought us something here, something to do, something to talk about. But it's 14 2 now. Force by, of course, from Envious need to make sure they get this round. This is semi finals over. As simple as that. CZ's Peter 50 is a Desert Eagle on Devil. Not going to be necessarily stacking. It's more of a default setup here. Looking for that first frag. But you can see Navi wanting to end this as quickly as possible. Four rifles for them. Not messing around with any Mac 10s. One UMP on towards Zeus. Going to be slowing this right down. Play it like an actual default ground. As we go into number 17 here. Edward just waiting, potentially for Apex again, why not? Flash in, does force and be back. And it's... I mean, it's interesting to go for the force buy in this with pistols when you could try and maybe force out a little bit more. If it goes to 15, but Envy, desperate. Zeus gets the first kill, Apex goes down, gives them the top mid to work with, and Kenny's gonna try and play clever behind this smoke, see if there's a gap that shows, but it's a little bit late. They've already gone around the corner, and Devil does hit the first on a Guardian, drops back in, but Edward finds him on the way down. Four on three now. See if he's trying to do what they can, but it's not gonna be enough there. Something to work with, though. Happy finds the kill on towards Seas. He's quickly taken back, though, by Edward now. Just up to MBK. One round away from series points here. Navi just absolutely decimating Envious here on the second map. We thought it was bad on Dust 2, but this is just... So much worse, I have to say. Looking like a 16-2 maybe coming in. MBK trying to work out his options at this point. Just going to be hanging out towards second middle. Probably with his head in his hands. How did it come to this? They looked like they had kind of resurrected this tournament, finding decent results and everyone stepping up. And we saw it yesterday as well. It looks great on Mirage, especially Kenny S carrying them. Don't, don't try and justify this, Henry. <laughs> I know what you mean, but this is this is something else. MBK trying to do what he can to get into double digits to be the first on his team to do so. Yeah, that's correct. He hits 10 just now. Goes to show you how one-sided it is. Flamey leads the way on 20. Guardian on the bottom for Navi. Not that it matters. He's at 10 himself. So all of the players on Navi out fragging everyone on Envious. Round number 18. 15-2. One more will do it for Navi. I have to say, this match has not delivered to the scale we were hoping, but... Well, it did deliver, because as we heard, the Swedish people want the Swedish semi-final. So they're just getting this out of the way early. Let get that happen. Way. Have some nice lunch. Get ready for the real game. There we go. Then five players for Navi towards B. It's MBK waiting for them. Lying in wait with the CZ. Going to be smoking them out for now. Is that an MB charm? I think it might be. They still believe I, it. I, 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 yeah, you should have started chanting a little bit earlier, maybe. It was going to make a difference, but we'll see. Happy. At tree, looking to go for the pop flash. Try and bounce out a little bit late. Catch them off. Kenny with the deagle towards top mid. Has to get the shot right now, but Flamey spots him. And actually puts him down to 60, but Kenny goes on 62 himself. Happy f smoked off as well. Back in position to go for that flash. He's not going to commit to the push, though, and he's going to wait for MBK's call before he wastes that slight, slim amount of utility that they do have. They have to be pretty efficient in this situation if they want to make this work, Envy. And now they go. Apex inside of the site. Going to play off of Devil in the pit. Kenny with a quick face through the smoke. Can't find the shot. Devil starts to face, so this is a bit aggressive, but this is on the call from Kenny that they are at top mid. Still 30 seconds here. You feel like the final move for Navi will be coming in. There will be... Presenting themselves towards the B side. Edward in the middle, though, holding the flanks. Happy still playing back towards CT. Flashed off. Now he has to go. Backs himself in. There's the pop. Has to find the kills, though. MBK gets one on C's. Flamey responds. MBK gets two on Flamey. The Guardian getting that clears out the B site. Now it's surely going to be a bomb plant. 
And Apex and Devil rotating with Edward lurking still do find the kill. Two versus two, bomb grabbed as well. Or excuse me, sorry, gun grabbed as well. So AK for Apex. Never give up, Matt. Never give in. Two on two to hold on. They have a pistol and an AK-47. That's it. No kits. Bomb ticking away. Just need to stick together and hope they can find his first kill. Not meant to be. Guardian takes down the first one. One more will do it. There it is. He finished it off. It's 2-0 in very convincing manner. Navi will go on to the grand final. And we say goodbye to Envy. A very lackluster Envy at that. Navi grand finals again. And I think all we can take away from this, Henry, is the flow chart for the Bison. Is it the second round? Yes. Did you win the pistol? No. Don't buy a Bison. Did you win the pistol round? Yes. T side or CT? CT? What side are you playing? A side? Buy a T Pest MB or a shotgun. Don't buy a Bison. Never buy a Bison, but it is Navi going through to the finals. Looking very strong right now. Guardian revitalizing the lineup. Didn't really miss a beat there. Only dropping two pistols on Dust 2. That's pretty much all they gave away in this entire series. And you have to say, Envious, one of the weakest performances we've seen of them, even in the recent late of the slump. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is the thing. And I did kind of shut that conversation down quickly, but it is true. This is the best they've looked in a very long time in this tournament, climbing through it. Devil actually had a reasonable series yesterday against Dignitas, but again, no one really getting it going here. It get hard to point it at him, but... Guardian is on stage. The man who arrived late will now find himself in another final. Smix is standing by. Thank you very much, Sadakis. For the fifth time this year, Navi is in the grand finals. That is an absolute amazing achievement, Guardian. Ah, uh, yeah, it's perfect. Like uh, it, we ha we haven't had this like before, so it's something nice, and it feels like we are getting to a perfect team, and hopefully we will win some events uh, this year. So yeah, it feels very nice. All right, now, let's, you just said it yourself that everything seems to be clicking for you guys. I believe in the last eight lands, you guys made it to the top four, I believe, uh, last seven times or something like that. It's an, uh, so, so consistent. And that's something that a lot of the top teams we've seen lately are maybe struggling with, but you guys just seem to be getting it together. So what do you attribute this sort of consistency to? Uh, I would say we are getting into like a team form that Everyone respects each other and stuff, so I think we are now as a team and before I, I, I would say it didn't feel like that way and now yeah, we believe and trust each other, that, that, that's the key I think. Well, let's talk about the series you guys just had against Envious. Of course, everyone knows Dust2 is a really strong map for you guys. I believe the casters are calling it Guardian's Playground. But for that second map, Inferno is typically a weaker map for you guys. And, and in fact, a lot of teams choose it against you because of that reason. But this time, it looks like you guys were prepared. And did you have a clear game plan knowing that Envy would choose it against you? Uh, yeah, we knew that every single team will choose Inferno because in best of one, it's probably our worst map. I mean, best of three with one ban. So, yeah, we knew they will pick Inferno, and we had the game plan how to how to counter it. And yeah, it it, it worked out, and it felt like they they don't know what to do against us. All right. Well, last but not least, Guardian, as we just mentioned, you are going to be headed to the grand finals here in the Malma Arena. Uh, what are your first thoughts on that, and what do you have to say to the fans that have been cheering very loudly for you guys? Mm, well, it's. It feels perfect and thank you for enjoying the game and cheering for us. It feels very nice that we have even in Sweden a lot of fans, so thank you for cheering for us. Well, congratulations again, Guardian, and with that we do have Navi moving on to the Grand Finals. A very happy Guardian as he will once again be battling it out in the Grand Finals. No stranger to that situation as of late for Na'Vi. And I mean, okay, we have to be, we have to be kind of light on this in initial segment. I want to just quickly say, how on earth do they, does Guardian sit there saying Inferno is probably our weakest map with one ban and then proceed to 16-2 NV? Jason, it doesn't, it doesn't quite piece together. A team that looked quite promising just yesterday. Uh, well, I mean, the, the thing is, against their T sides, we mentioned that's, that's when a struggle for them, and especially when you... These guys aren't a team in the way that they play Counter-Strike. They do very much, even when they look good the other day, it was very much, I mean, Kenny getting those 30 kills per map, Apex going absolutely nuts on a map or two. This is not a team performance on the T side of Inferno. And that's not to bash them. We know they have struggles. We know there's issues, and we know they've had issues for a while. This is actually 
a good performance, not in terms of that individual match, but getting to the semifinals of this event. That's something that, that is probably just a weight off their shoulders that they've been getting just destroyed out of group stages in most events. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's good on Envy, but Navi, uh, this is, uh, they just were able to just dominate them on, the, on these T sides. I mean, there was nothing going on the offense for Envy. Full domination, I think that's going to be the key word, and of course a big factor that we, just, that we determined on the desk was because of that sixth man. Starix really helping Navi grow into what they are today, and actually he's hanging out with Parla. So before we do delve deeper, let's see what Parla and Starix have to say about that match. He is the sixth man, Alex. That is correct. Seized uh, was playing amazingly. The whole squad, Guardian as well, they just seemed to come amazing together. Uh, Starex, what are your initial thoughts? Well, definitely Seized and Guardian is a pure, like, a, way of showing a great performance on this tournament. Also, Flamey uh, just took uh, important pistols on T side on Inferno. It was great headshot on the last round. He was really low. And it, is, it will be like a like an additional motivation to be in the tournament for us. Were you happy with the map veto? Do you, do you think it worked in your favor? Yeah, we definitely know the map veto what's going to be. So we are pre preparing. Okay, yeah, going into one of the players I just mentioned, Seas. On Inferno, he seemed to be able to hold down the B site almost on his own perfectly, getting two kills at a time, three kills. Has he been practicing that a lot? Is that something, a position that he's used to playing? Well, um... I think uh, Cs is one of the best players on the CS scene right now. It's really good. He's showing a great performance on this tournament. Nice. Yeah, no, that, that's that's great. And, you know, playing Inferno, you got off, of course, on the CT side and you managed to just, like, dominate from there. Do you think you could have done the same on the T side? Were you co comfortable starting on whichever side it could have happened? Well, the T side is really, really hard to play on the T side on Inferno. I think five rounds for us is really okay for us. Five rounds on T side is really hard side. Okay, and going into the final, you're in another final. Congratulations! Did you expect that coming into this tournament? Excuse me. Did you expect reaching the grand final here coming into this tournament? Was that your expectation? Uh, after Guardian come uh, to Malmo, uh, we have. Oh, uh, we have a point to reach a grand final. Yeah, and he is actually just standing off camera right now, looking quite pleased with himself, and he deserves it for sure. What do you think is going to be the most important thing for you guys to do in the final? Is it going to be how you play as a team? Is it going to be staying mentally focused? Well, uh, we will play the game what we can play. It's it's always the same. We're trying to play the game what we can can show to. <laughs> We're trying to make our best performance. Yeah, and who do you think you could have your best performance against? Nip or Godsent? Uh, uh, we, want, we want to play against NIP, definitely. And that is, is that because you think you're a better match for them or because you want to just play them and, and beat them? I think it will be better for everyone if we will, we will play against NIP in the grand final. I think the crowd would probably enjoy that as well. And up next, we will see who wins because it's going to be that Swedish civil war, as we put it earlier. Who do you think will win it? I know you want to play Nip. Do you think they're most likely to win it, or do you think Godsent could do it? I think NAP will win this match, and we will meet against them on the grand final. All right, well, there we go. Thank you so much, Starix. Congratulations. Another final for you guys in the bag, and we're going to head back now to the desk. Awesome stuff there from Parla and Starix. The guy's always got a smile on his face, win or lose. And I, I kind of open and shut case for Navi. The thing with Starix is I think the reason he's always got a smile on his face, he's a very intelligent guy, very shrewd guy, so he always looks like he knows something. That's why Happy actually very rarely has a smile on his face. <laughs> and Happy, can, can we address that? Rest Here we in go. peace. <laughs> <laughs> we actually need to bring that up because at one point or another, we actually saw Happy like full on, he's holding an angle and he's just, and he's saving or whatever. And he's just got his, like, one hand off the keyboard. You're still playing a game, dude. And he, I think sometimes... that's actually how he plays. That's, he does only play good. with one hand. Maybe uses only his elbow <laughs> for the movement and the and for the mouth. So every time the camera switches to him, he has the same expression. How did he perform, though? Let's look at the, him and the rest with those stats. I'll let Duncan see if there's anything particularly to take from this I mean, one. 
unfortunately, he was quite poor. Like, it's going to say here, statistically, he had the most kills. But as they mentioned on the cast, there were a number of times where his look just didn't really do anything. Like, sometimes it didn't create any pressure. It did, sometimes didn't hold anyone over that side, especially on Inferno. You actually saw Na'Vi was waiting for him a lot of the time. And it was that sort of game of when you spot Happy, you know they're going to the other side. And actually, you're prepared. And you can almost rotate off immediately and just do what they did there. Just keep one man there holding him there. And so what's funny is you're actually mind gaming Happy in that point in time to thinking he's being successful with his look. Because he's seeing, for example, on that round he had Edward there. He's thinking, oh, I'm holding them over at this site. Actually, there's only Edward there and they've sent everyone already over to the other site. So I think, unfortunately, that balance between being a beta, being a, a lurker, he, he's not striking it well at the moment. Mm. And who, and who is? I mean, is there a counterpart to Navi that was doing it exceptionally well, or was it not necessary? I mean, you, you saw the scores that like Guardian didn't really need to do too much work in this game. Seize is, is a beast. This event for Seize is, is incredible from him. I think he's like plus 53 in kill, in kill death. He's like a 1.6 uh, kills per death, like over the whole event. He's just being a monster. Uh, the rest of them are also up there. I mean, Edward is up there, Flamey's up there. So Guardian's actually had a pretty lax uh, semifinal that he gets, a, he gets a chill. He gets to, you know, make sure the wrist isn't getting overused before the grand final, whatever it might be. You got to have an easy game. It also made this Inferno T side for Envious look really unfair because actually you saw there were a couple of rounds they had accurately read which site they could hit. They hit it on time. They even got entries to the site where basically sees is going to be 1v2, 1v3. In that sort of a scenario, even to go one for one's all right in that scenario. Like you're going to get overrun. And he was actually just mopping them up entirely. And it made Envious look silly, but actually some of those were the right reads. So when that happens on top of all your other problems, you did not get a win today. That's the thing. You in my opinion, you can lose the game because of two things. One is you have bad calls and you simply put yourself in bad uh, spots. The other thing is if your execution isn't on point in a sense. And here it was the other, right? They would get in the, go into B and only have C's there. The, the other player was rotating, but he wasn't quite there yet. But then C's just steps up and gets a triple kill. And, you know, it is a bit of both him playing really well and maybe the envious players not being, you know, on point enough to get that trade kill and get entrance into the bomb set. Out of the 15 rounds in the first half, I think that only three times was the bomb actually planted or something like that. So they yeah. were really struggling to even get the entry into the bomb site and, and plant the bomb. Which is a shame because being uh, the entry kills were, were at one point the strength of Envious. That was like their biggest, uh, their trades going into a bomb site. Seize being able to get those one on threes is very indicative of some of the struggles they've had. Um, not being able to get bomb plants because normally it was the issue wasn't never getting into bomb sites. They were always able to do it even on the force buys. So um, you, you could just see it. there's just kind of a little bit lacking out of them right now. And it's, I mean, we're just going to have to see what the roles yeah. change with afterwards because we've heard word of what it might be and it's, it's scary. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they make the, uh, the right decisions. Yeah, and that's what I think we, we should talk about after Yanko's breaking it down a bit more. So uh, you've got something for us. What, what is this demonstrating yes. this time? Well, this is maybe a bit to uh, give an example of the mind games that go on between, between these Tier 1 teams and, and Tier 1 players because Honestly, in this particular game, there wasn't much to show because Navi played extremely well and just shut down Envias completely. But what's interesting here, this was actually the first gun round uh, of the first half. And you see this is Guardian with an AWP holding uh, this angle and Flame is hiding between behind the sandbags over here. So it's a pretty standard setup. The thought process is that once, Navi, once the Guardian fires his shot, they maybe think that he's alone by himself, just trying to get a pick and fall back. And then Flamey can just, you know, peek and surprise the other uh, T players that are running in. But what happens now is we can roll the clip for just a couple of seconds. So here, uh, Guardian throws a, a smoke and we can stop it again. So the thought process behind this is Guardian throws a smoke. So that would bait Envious's players into thinking that, oh, they are playing defensively somewhere in the site. Because why would you smoke this if you're aggressive? And Guardian is just playing again at the edge of the smoke, trying to get a, a, a cheeky kill. And even if he manages to do that and he falls back, or even if they just spot him here, they will again maybe think, okay, he was alone by himself. He went for a play by himself and again, <laughs> Flamey is that joker player right uh, in the sandbags. In this particular round, actually didn't pay off at all. Uh, you could see, uh, you will see after the smoke pop, how MBK is going to slowly start approaching because of the sound cue being more aggressive. But in the end, he was maybe too smart for this particular play. And we can roll the rest of the clip. He actually manages to get both entry kills. And uh, basically that in itself won the round for, for Envious. After that, the, the rest of the Navi players just decided to go uh, for a save. And when you look at it, it's pretty funny because on these two maps, Envious only won two gun rounds at their both T-sides in the game. On Dust2, they won the pistol round to anti-eco rounds and won 
another eco round against Navi. So this is one of the two gun rounds they actually won in the whole game on their T side. <laughs> kind of Which, when you put it that way, it kind of sounds That's it frightening. sounds really terrible. Yeah. But as I said, I don't think that they were as blown out on Dust too. I feel there were a lot more close rounds, but on Inferno, they just didn't even have a chance. Thing is, though, as bad as Envious was, this also just shows you that Navi's gone to another level for me. Like, it's true, if Guardian was in full, full strength, maybe now they'd be like totally the scariest team in the whole world. But consider in this series, Guardian did very, very little. You could argue he was one of the worst players on the team. Everyone else was fantastic. They, they dominated CT sides, where Navi's known to be this T side monster team. They're winning on what is the worst map once they get their permaban out of the map pool, and against a team that that's one of their best maps. So you add it all together, right? Now, I think Navi looks like they could actually have probably won this tournament with Starix in the team. That's how crazy the, the level of the whole sure. unit is right now. And that's going to be something that I'm sure their uh, counterparts on the other side of the bracket are going to be fearing. Any closing thoughts surrounding this one? It, let's just quickly touch on Envy and this whole... They've, they've they had this aura around them that we're going to be changing something. There's a big change on the horizon. I know we can't see the future, but does this sound like something that can work for Envy? You've already said that they've got the building blocks of, of, of a top world-class team. Something needs to change, though. Do you think this change could incite something beautiful from the French team? A really, a really quick rant here. I feel that for, for a long time, like, because Envious and the, the, when they were LDLC and Fnatic, they were the two most dominant lineups for almost a year and a half. They were the, the best teams in the world. And then for me, that's that was a sort of an anomaly because mm. of the play style they adopted, right? It, it relied a lot on individual performances and it's not something that's supposed to be consistent. So now you can see when they don't have those consistent individual performances, how they can't even be in the game against a team like Navi, who has really good foundations, really solid tactical play, fundamental counter-strike, and on top of that has great individual players who can step up. So for them, we saw glimpses of their old self in, in some of the games, but it has to be them uh, adapting to this new meta and relying more on team play and, and can't just expect uh, that in each game someone is going to go for a crazy individual performance and carry the team to the, to the win. I don't think you can just say, okay, it's true, Na'Vi might end up winning this tournament, they look in incredible form. You can't just say, oh, it's unlucky you got against Na'Vi, because actually the way they're playing at the moment, I think Nip would have eaten this team alive. Like if you look at the dis disciplined way Nip's yeah. playing, the way they, they bait out those four spies, I think actually Envy would have had trouble with a lot of the teams they faced here. Mm -hmm. And I think part of why they were able to get here wasn't just like, yes, Kenny has had an incredible performance, but Dignitas also helped them out a bit there. They collapsed a bit. So and you can look at the result and go, okay, good result, but performance wise, I don't think it's good enough still for envious. And this meta shift is something that I'd love to explore further with you guys, and we should. I mean, this is definitely, I mean, are you suggesting the age of the aimer is is over and it's moving more and more towards this tactical sure, side? Uh, I'm not sure about that. I mean, I saw Flamey and he's dominating there with I'm incredible aim. Sure. I mean, it's, more, it's more like you, I think now, with the teams like Luminosity and Navi that are so well-rounded, you need to have a system and have the aimers. I think the problem is that Fnatic dropped out uh, early at MLG and they're not here, so we're kind of forgetting about them, but they were the most dominant team in the last couple of months, winning six uh, tournaments in a row, so they still have to be considered probably the best team in the world. But now with the issues with all of Meister and Son, we don't know how long he's going to be away. It hinders the, the team obviously a lot, so it's going to be up to them to, to show if they can adapt to this new level of play that Na'Vi are bringing and Luminosity as well. Oh, well, don't, don't leave Nip out of that one. They're fast yeah. becoming one of the more tactical teams that we have in the field uh, with, with threat behind the wheel. And that's why, for me, Envy, you know, you wonder if these changes, whatever they're going to make, is going to work out. And I have to say no, because they're going to need a massive shift in their mentality. We saw how long it took NIP to adjust, and some of the best players in the world, some of the best players historically, and they couldn't even get used to this man until they brought threat, threat in. I mean, they're going to need something like that. That was all five players of NIP buying into this tactical system that that, that threat brought along. And Envy needs something like that, and I don't know where it's going to come from. That, that's kind of the scary part, is you don't know where, where it will come from. It's going to be more than just switching up roles if that's what they're going to do. It's going to be entire change in how they play the game. And you touched on it before, but yeah, NIP, those legends are going to be preparing themselves to get underway with their second semi-final of DreamHack Masters Malmo. They're going to be going up against Godsend. It will be Swedish Civil Raw. Oh, Civil Raw. There will be a Raw in the crowd. Civil War is what my mouth was trying to say, as of course that's going to be coming up after the break. We will be seeing the boys from Godsend go up against the ninjas in pajamas. And we're going to be coming right up with that after a walkthrough of the Score Esports.